Alright, there comes a point in everyone's life when we realize one of the most satisfying feelings is taking out your boomstick and blasting an enemy's face off. Now, if you happen to know someone who is disgusted at the thought of exacting this divine act of Point Blake vengeance, you'd better make sure to cut them out of your life. No one needs that kind of negativity. Disgusting bastards. So, without further ado... Working worst to first, we're going to start off this list with what looks like a cool super industrial strength stapler. I'm not going to get into the mechanics of this thing because you're just going to end up hating it. And you're probably better off using an actual stapler. Yes, it is that bad. Just level it and get rid of it. I don't even want to talk about it anymore. Similar to the Convectrix is the Phage, but instead of two annoying beams to focus, now you have seven. The way it looks kind of reminds me of a star-nosed mole. Oh god! The difference being that the super receptive scent organ of the aforementioned subterranean mammal is actually worth a damn. Again, level it and just toss it. But seriously, read up on the mold. Amazing creatures, really. And next we have a futuristic megaphone. Harkening back to the days of yore, an Unreal Tournament when the flat cannon would send shards of shrapnel bouncing off walls to shred thine enemies into tiny bits. As an added bonus, the Dragoon can focus its shot into a tighter area just by holding the trigger longer. Sadly, this gun lacks the damage of its spiritual predecessor. That's probably not going to change since this weapon is a requirement to build the Tsar. Which doesn't take shotgun mods. Still, it's better than the previous shit guns. Okay, now we're getting into actual shotguns and not the piece of the shit masquerading as a weapon that takes shotgun mods. The Boar Prime is not a bad weapon, unlike the regular variant. It's a little low on the damage, but it makes up for it a bit with the ability to be 100% status and is fully automatic. This will clear most of the content in the game, but you might want to end up with something better. Alright, the Comb. Looks like shit, sounds like shit, and performs like... Yeah, you get the idea. The only reason this place is higher than the Boar Prime is that if, and I do mean if, you get a ribbon that supports what it wants, you can turn this piece of grenier poop into a street sweeper. That deals actually quite a shit ton of damage. And leaving you with no ammo. Only keep this weapon if you have a ribbon that would make it worth a damn. Here is a grenier weapon that does not happen to be ugly as f***. At base, the Sobek is pretty underwhelming even with a Syndicate mod. There exists, however, a mod called Acid Shells, which completely changes the game for this weapon. You can get it from that sweet-ass piece of honey, Kayla to thing. God damn, I'd saddle her up and ride her like a five-year-old rides a Great Dane. Well, I smacked her. Acid Shells turns this shotgun into a murder stick that loves a crowd and does a good job at taking them out when used properly. A Riven Disposition of 5 certainly helps as well. And this glass mofo that came out with Gara is pretty good, but not amazing. Which pretty much describes how it looks as well. It still is basically a slash focused rocket launcher that explodes glass in a semicircle, dealing secondary damage, and cannot hurt you. Unfortunately, it's those odd characteristics which keep it from being better. It has travel time, explosion damage is limited to a hemisphere in front of the impact point, and doesn't deal the damage you modded for. Still, this window shard of a weapon is very worth checking out. The Corinth. Sounds badass, looks badass, and has an alt fire you'll probably never use because of its fixed mechanics. The air burst has to travel 20 meters in the air, which means you can't just target the ground. Oh, and it only deals blast damage. Still, load this thing with some punch through and 100 munitions because of its higher crit chance, and you'll be having a good time. I mean, I can't wait for a primed version of this thing. Oh, and that rich Corinthian leather you hear about? Yeah, those cows were shot with this. The Vacor Hack. Yes, it cannot use the Scattered Justice mod. It looks like it was designed when 3D software first came out, but I cannot deny how good this thing actually is. The regular hack is good, but the Vacor Hack is just all around better. More crit chance, faster fire rate, larger magazine size, same boring ass looks, and not to mention that it's a Syndicate weapon that will heal you while dealing AoE blast damage. 
You should definitely have this in your arsenal. The Strun Wraith. So you've gone through the Strun variants and hated them. We all have. And like the corn, the one shell at a time reload can be annoying, but god damn, this thing can deal out some punishment. It has high damage, the ability to achieve 100% status, and have a Riven Disposition 5. It could be harder to get, but damn, is it worth getting this film canister with a lens strapped to the front? Mm. Next, we have the Ignis Wraith with a. Wait, what? I must apologize. I get confused because it does the same damn thing. Yes, this is essentially a flamethrower that takes shotgun mods. D dropped a bomb on me and released a new shotgun, if that's what you want to call it, while I was making this video. I should hate this ugly monstrosity. It sounds like you're fisting a jar of mayonnaise when you're firing it. Well, grab some mayo and try it. You'll see what I'm talking about. Though it seems like DE is running out of ideas at times when making weapons, holy shit, this thing is actually better than the flamethrower. The emulsified egg yolk icing on top of this deformed birthday cake is that it has a secondary fire, which is pretty good. Blown shit up at the cost of three rounds. I'll take it. Watch out, though. It'll kill you. Did I forget to mention that the Phantasma reloads fast? Like, really, really fast? This just came out and may get nerfed, but right now this shotgun made two weapons obsolete in one go, the other being the Ogress. Not that anyone was actually using the Ogress. We're down to the final two weapons, and I had a really hard time deciding if this should be the overall number one shotgun in the game, just because of how useful it is in most of the content of Warframe. The Archiplasma looks good, feels good, does good damage, and makes hallways of enemies disappear like a really bad fart bomb. Equip this on a Mirage and oh my god. This gun might end up being your bell cow. I really hate this weapon. Kidding, damn, chill the f out. Surprise, surprise that the Tiger's Prime lands at number one. The damage it deals is of absolute biblical proportions, yet it amazes me how many people do not mod this for 100% status. Learn effective damage, people. With its redonkulous damage and tight choke, giggity, you can even snipe a lot of enemies in the game. The only downside is, uh, hmm. Okay, so it's going to be way overkill for low to mid-tier missions. But for most of the content of the game, just use its little brother, the Sancti Tigers. Not as much, but still a lot of damage, faster reload, and a corrosive syndicate proc that heals. The Tigers Prime should be your boomstick of choice for eradicating those pesky bosses. Are you a twisted son of a bitch that actually likes the Convectrix? Or think the order of the weapon should be different? Leave a comment below and tell me what you think. If you're new here, like and subscribe for more videos and great souffle recipes made with grub worms. As always, thank you everyone, and take care.